Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. If you're running Windows 10, you should probably have some way to back up your files and folders. Now many people actually purchase software to keep backups of their files. Um, it turns out that you can use Windows 10's built-in backup system, which is called File History. Now there are actually two backup systems built into Windows 10. One is File History and the other is called uh, Windows 7 Backup and Restore. Now the reason you don't want to use Backup and Restore is quite simple. The Windows 7 era backup system was kind of crude. Uh, essentially what it would do is you'd set it up and you'd say back up these files and folders and it would take kind of a snapshot of all your file, files and folders, put them together in a big chunk and write them to an external drive. Uh, then it would run again say one week later and it would again take a backup of all your files and folders and bundle them all together into a giant chunk and it would write that giant chunk next to the first one. It would carry on like this and eventually your backup drive would be completely full and then you'd have to go and manually empty the backups. Windows 10's file history feature is much better because it's what we call an incremental backup. What it does is it first scans all your files and folders and it makes a big chunk of data and it plops it on your external drive, just like Backup and Restore. But file history is different in that it doesn't save multiple chunks of all your data. It doesn't make multiple copies of it. It makes an initial copy and then it scans them uh, as often as every hour and it only records the incremental changes you made to certain files. So say if you have a Word document and you typed an extra paragraph in, uh, it would save that extra paragraph instead of the entire file. That's an oversimplified explanation, but you get the idea. The end result is that file history backups are much smaller, and so your backup drive will last you much longer, uh, and that's pretty cool. So how do you actually set this up if you don't have any backup at all? Well, the first thing you're going to need to do is purchase an external hard drive. This is a USB 3. It's a Seagate backup drive. Uh, it's about one terabyte. You can get a one or two terabyte backup drive like this for uh, probably fifty, sixty dollars. They're not that expensive. Uh, I do recommend you get an actual mechanical external hard drive. Some people use USB sticks for their backup. Um, that's okay, it will work, but mechanical hard drives will store your data for much longer. Um, they're plenty reliable as a backup drive. And one of the issues you may run into is if you use a USB stick, they have a, their, their file system is actually either FAT32 or XFAT. And the file history feature will not work unless you are using the NTFS file system on your external drive. So I recommend just buying one of these. I will put some links down in the description. They come with the NTFS file system. They're an external drive. They're powered by USB. Uh, all you're going to do is buy one of these, find an empty USB 3 port on your computer, and plug it in. Now Windows will recognize the drive, of course, and then you can set up file history. So how do we actually configure file history? What you're going to do is click Start, and then type in the word Backup. Click Backup Settings. That's going to open the Settings window and take you right to Backup File, Backup Using File History. The first thing you're going to do is add the drive you just connected. Do 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 do. Searching for drives. Uh, there we are. Seagate backup E drive one terabyte. Select the drive, and there you go. Now, if you click More Options, you're going to see. Okay, so far we haven't done a backup, so it's zero bytes. Here's my Seagate backup drive. It's about one terabyte. Uh, what you want to do is scroll down and back up my files. Uh, you can change it to even as low as every 10 minutes. I do every hour, which is the default. And then you want to change, keep my backups to until space is needed. And what that means is that when file history starts to fill up the drive, instead of just giving you an error message, it's going to delete the older backups and make space for the new ones. Now here you can see says back up these folders. These are all the folders that are going to be backed up. These are usually all your users folders. In my case it's C users Scott and um, this is for example the desktop, your pictures, your videos. So all the default Windows libraries are automatically backed up by file history. If you want to add another folder that isn't in this list you can just click add a folder and then you can go to your C drive or your D drive and say oh I want to also back up the Intel folder or I want to back up Attic. So I'll click add that folder and now you can see it's also going to back up that folder. You can also exclude folders down here. 
You can now click backup now and it will do the initial backup and then you basically just close settings and you're done. And that's all there is to it. Now one cool thing is that with file history, this is my backup drive. Windows knows that it's my file history backup drive. If I simply unplug this and take it away, file history will automatically pause. When I bring it back the next day and plug it back in, Windows will recognize it, say, oh, that's Scotty's file history backup drive, and f the file history backup system will automatically start and continue on backing up my files from right where I left off. So it's a very handy feature, and if you ever have any problems, sometimes file history gives you an error message, and if you do, uh, don't miss the video up here where I tell you how to debug problems with file history. That's all there is to it. For more Techie Tips, see Scotty's Tech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.